celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gabby, the Great American Broadcast Network. Oh, the cramps. Oh. Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome to the Ramble. Oh, man. I was really sick last night, and tonight I'm not that much better, and it's being complicated by the fact that for some reason I got, like, some horrible just stomach cramps. Now, I don't know... I, I, you know, when you get a cold, what do you do? Well, the first thing you do, let's see, take some aspirin for the uh, for the uh, sore throat. Okay, you take some aspirin for the sore throat. And then what else do you take? Well, uh, you know, some of that NyQuil stuff isn't bad. Take some of that. Ch- chug down the NyQuil. Before you know it, the next morning, your stomach is like roiling, just going crazy. And so tonight, just about an hour ago, I was sitting here, and I got the worst cramps I've gotten in my gut in years. And I think it ha- it's a combination, I think, of the medicine I've been taking. Like, I have some NyQuil in me right now, or I have DayQuil in me, because DayQuil keeps you awake. And uh, uh, I didn't take any aspirin now, but I've still got these, these hellacious cramps. So uh, I'm not really set to do a program tonight. Uh, but I'm doing it anyway because they say the show must go on. However, last night it didn't. And the reason it didn't is I was so sick. I mean, this cold was so bad that I didn't see how I could make it through two hours of a program. It just seemed like a virtual impossibility to me. I barely could get on the reruns that I was playing in its place. And, uh, I had a uh, I had a video I ran last night. Here, wait a minute, let me see here. If any of you watched the show last night, uh, this is probably one of the, what you saw over and over again. I ran this in a loop. Here we go. Look at this. Uh, see, there, there we have the Gabnet uh, logo. And uh, soon it will say Alex Bennett's Ramble. And then I come on. This was last night. And I say, come on, Alex. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, I'm not even wearing a hat tonight. <laughs> I, uh, if you hear my voice, you can hear that I have a really bad, bad cold. And it's, uh, no, there's no way I could do a show tonight. Uh, and so rather than do a show, uh, I'm not going to do one. And we'll just play this over and over again so people know we're not doing a show. Uh when my voice is like this, I could maybe do 15 minutes, and then all of a sudden I wouldn't be able to talk anymore. I, I know my own voice. Plus, I'd be doing this all night. <laughs> and that doesn't sound good either. So anyway, what we're going to do is if you go over and listen to the audio, we're going to play an old show. And here we're just going to run this over and over again so people know that I'm uh, I'm not doing a show by the way, this uh, is a tonight. recording. But I apologize for not doing it. I should be okay tomorrow. Usually when I get a cold, it's like the first day was like last night where I'm sniffling a lot. Yeah. The next day I wake up, I'm like this. And then the third day, I'm starting to cure again. So hopefully I'll be able to do a show again tomorrow night. But I always feel very apologetic that I can't do a show uh, because I'm sick, because I like to think that I've, I've, I've been almost at death's door and done programs. And people say, see, now I'm going to sneeze, and I don't want to. So <laughs> I have to blow my nose rather than sneeze. Anyway, I'll, I'll be back. I'm sure I'll be back again tomorrow night, okay? All right? I'm sorry. I don't want to be sick, but I am. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow night. And this is tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we're we're here because we're here because we're here because we're here. And I had that in a loop, and that was going over and over and over again last night. So, yeah, that that's what you got if you if you wanted to um, uh, deal with me, <laughs> you know. Anyway, so I'm, uh, now I'm feeling at m- n- not as sick as I was feeling last night. I'm not feeling well, as I told you. I have um, uh, uh, 
the stomach cramps, which I don't know what that is, you know. But I, I had a stomach ache earlier this morning and tonight, just before I came on, about an hour, as I said, the cramps were terrible. So if at some point they get really bad uh, I am, and we have a decent citizen panel, I'm just going to let them talk with each other and I'm going to go off to the bathroom and try and, and relieve myself of the, of the cramps. But right now, it's okay. And right now, I'm not feeling really sick like I was last night. So... Um, uh, you know, there's the old uh, showbiz ad adage that the show must go on, and I've never been able to figure out who came up with that one, because it doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. Okay, I just I, I'll just say that from the get go. But uh, anyway, uh, <coughs> but you see, I still have a cough. Anyway, we're uh, you know, we're, and I may go to the phones early. I always say that. You know, uh, there's something about colds, though, uh, that that we are I, I'm I, I we probably should talk about. And that's how the best way to get rid of colds. Uh, what I find is if you have a chance, uh, there's a thing called um, coldies and coldies is terrific. Uh, coldies. I, I don't want to do a commercial for them. But it is terrific. It, it lessens, it doesn't necessarily make the cold go away, but it lessens the amount of time you have to live with it. Um, there's a theory about them. What it is, it's a zinc delivery system. Now, uh, Alex, what is a zinc delivery system? Well, here's the thing. It is a known fact that zinc will lessen a cold. In fact, if you feel a cold coming on and you start sucking on zinc, you probably, or if you're around people who are sick a lot, Having colds, just take zinc. All right, let me explain to you why. See, when you're, um, how you get a cold is, you don't get it from, somebody can sneeze in your face and you're not going to get it. All right, uh, that's, that's an old wives' tale. Um, and I don't know why they call it a cold, because you have a fever and you're hot. But anyway, uh, the fact of the matter is, the way you catch a cold is from something simple like, uh, Oh, I know you go into a bathroom and you use the faucet and somebody else has had a cold and he uses the faucet. And now you've got a little bit of those germs on your fingers. And then maybe you just do something as simple as this. Okay. Well, the germ then gets wiped up to your nose and then it goes up the no nasal ca canal. And when it gets to a certain point, it then starts infecting or inflaming the the membranes in your nose and that's how you get a cold you don't get it from but you can get it from shaking hands or using a toilet handle or uh, uh, but you could kiss your wife she could be sick and you probably wouldn't get it because that's not the way you get it all right so um, what the zinc does is it prevents the germ from going all the way up the nasal cavity. It hits the zinc and it kills it or stops it or it turns around and runs out and goes in another direction and says, I'll go to somebody else. Um, and so zinc is a great way, uh, if you have it in your system, to prevent the germs from uh, getting onto your mucous membrane. Uh, now, the problem is zinc tastes horrible. And so when people said take zinc, you would try zinc, and they went, oh, this is terrible. I can't do this you know, because you have to suck on them. So th this company, Coldies, came up with the idea, well, let's find a delivery system for the zinc that people won't exactly mind sucking on. And they did that, and that's very good. And it's actually very good. And I, uh, I, I, have, I didn't use it this time because I didn't have any in the house. There's also one other problem. It's hard to find sugar-free Coldies, and, of course, I'm on a low-carb diet. So I, uh, I, that, that's why I couldn't find uh, 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 the coldies. Uh, but I, and, and, I, and I, then last night I'm, I'm trying, I'm thinking, I gotta go to sleep and I'm sick as a dog and how am I gonna go to sleep with my nose dripping and all that? Uh, I, I don't have any NyQuil in the house. I, I don't prefer NyQuil, but I, uh, you know. So I took one of my gabapentins, okay, which kind of make me woozy. And then I took one of girlfriend's Super strength Benadryl. She's got like prescription Benadryl, and that just knocks you out and dries you up. And so I was managed to get a certain amount of sleep. But I woke up this morning. I was loopy, you know. 
and uh, and and I had a stomach ache. So you know, what the hell? So you know, that isn't the worst news. The worst news of the week was that uh, uh, I have an I have um, a chance that I have cancer. Uh, now d- don't go crazy. Don't go telling everybody. Did you hear Alex Bennett's got cancer? Yeah, I probably do have cancer. Um, because I took my PSA test and it went up a little bit. It went past a 0.4, and my free PSA was low where it should be high. And so uh, today I got the readings from the thing, and it said I have an 85% chance that I have cancer. Now, don't worry about that because the doctor says only, he says, let me worry about it. He said, you know, you're, you're never going to die of this cancer. Okay, you're gonna. You, I I guarantee you, you'll live to 85. I mean, if you're gonna live to 85, I said, but I want to live to 100. And he said, well, that's you know, how how many of us do that? And I said, my mother did. But anyway, he said uh, he said uh, you know you've got if you've got cancer, it's a very slow growing cancer, and uh, he said we just give you a hormone injections every month, and that will literally wipe out about 98% of the cancer in those kinds of cancers. And he said, that's very simple. So um, I, I can say to you now that finally, after years of worrying about it, I do have cancer, or there's a good chance I have cancer. Girlfriend's going nuts hearing me talk about this. I'm going, she goes, can you take out the garbage? I say, no, I'm sorry, I have cancer. Actually, here's a statistic for all you guys who are listening. I don't want to panic you early, but if you live to be my age, which is 79 years old, do you know what the chances are you will get prostate cancer? 70%. Yes, 70%. Uh, And uh, now most of those are this low-grade prostate cancers. The other ones are like what Phil got, but he's in his mid-60s, okay, and uh, his was aggressive, so he had to have his prostate removed. Um, here's the thing that really killed me, though, about this. I was re- I, you, know, I, you know, I go on the web and I read about all of this. I, I have a medical degree from Wikipedia, okay? Um, but... Uh, um, do you know, they give you hormones now, and the hormones supposedly, I don't know, stop the, the prostate cancer from getting aggressive and growing at any kind of substantial rate. Uh, and uh, sometimes they just disappear completely. The, the, your PSA level goes down to like a .1 or something like that. I was talking to Vernon Nunn. Vernon Nunn did that. Maybe he'll call tonight and he can talk about it. Um, but... Um, uh, they, they, you know, they, they have that kind of solution. But the, what they did before, you say, well, what did they do, though, before they had the hormones? Because, you know, hormones didn't last, didn't come, were, haven't been around forever. You know what they did before hormones? And one of the other ways they can take care of this prostate cancer? Remove your testicles. Now, I, I hate to say this, but, you know, you say to any guy, remove your testicles. And they go, what? You know, you don't want to remove your testicles. And I, I, he didn't mention, my doctor, anything about removing testicles. He said, no, he says, if, if it turns out you've got some kind of little uh, low-grade cancer there, the good cancer, I think he called it, like they did in the, uh, in the, uh, uh, the show on uh, Netflix, uh, the, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, I can't remember. The Kirk, uh, Mike Douglas uh, uh, thing. Danny DeVito plays a urologist. He says, I got good news, I got bad news. He says, what's the bad news? He says, you got cancer. He says, what's the good news? He said, it's the good kind. So anyway, I've, if I do have cancer, it's the good kind. And uh, if you want to go around and tell everybody that Alex Bennett has cancer, go right ahead. I, love, I will love taking the pity and the uh, uh, stuff that goes with it. Okay. Anyway. So, where was I? So, um, uh, there was something I wanted to talk about, and I can't remember what it is. I'm loopy tonight, by the way. And if I get really tired, I'm going to close the show down early. I never do. I always say I will. And then we get into a discussion, and I'm enjoying myself, and, you know, what the hell. But anyway, uh, and I ordered a new computer today. Uh, 
like I need a new computer, right? How many do I have in here? One, two, three, four. Um, then there in the other room, five, six, seven computers. But I, uh, I had to get something. Or I had to get a powerhouse, so that's what I bought today. I got it on eBay because it's too expensive if I don't get it on eBay. Even if I was making big bucks, I wouldn't buy it not on eBay. Uh, and these people guarantee it 100%. You can return it within 30 days if you don't like it. And uh, they, uh, they stand behind their product, and they have 100% uh, rating on, uh, on, on eBay. So hopefully everything will be fine that way. The only problem was I, I ordered it, and then I suddenly realized that eBay had my old email address. Uh, and uh, that's bad because they, were, they, they sent the verification to me uh, by, uh, by email to the old email address and not the new email address. Uh, so uh, uh, I wanted, so I wrote them to, get, to give them the new email address, so I gave it to them. And they said, can you prove to us that this is your email address? And so I just sent them a letter back from that email address and said, here, this should be proof. And... Then they said they were closed for the weekend, so I won't know what happens on that one. But anyway, I, if I if it all uh, if it all uh, the card went through and everything has been processed, and uh, in about a week and a half I will be getting my new spiffy, so powerful I could launch rockets to the moon, Mac. Okay. Anyway, and I you know something I, I everybody I ever asked about buying something on eBay never had any complaints about what they bought on eBay. That they really felt protected by eBay, and that eBay doesn't let people sell stuff unless they live up to a certain code of, of ethics and whatever. So you know, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I tell you what, I did once. I never did this before, but I, I needed a um, um, uh, a DAT player. I don't know if you remember DAT. It's digital audio tape. But I had quite a few shows on DAT that, in fact, you hear here on the weekends when I play old shows that I, I had to make uh, recordings, of, and I didn't have a DAP machine, so I went on there, and there was somebody selling a DAP machine, but it was, you had to bid for it. And I went through the bidding process. Do you know at the very end when you are, everybody's bidding, and then you're bidding a little higher than them, and they're bidding a little bit higher than you, and you're bidding a little bit higher than them, do you realize what a rush that is? If you've ever done it, it's like a rush. And then all of a sudden it says, you got it. You're the winner. And I got it, you know. But, I mean, it was like, it, it, it's amazing. It, it, the actual bidding on eBay, when there's a bidding thing. I mean, there's certain products you just buy it, you know, buy now. Uh, and they don't put it up. <coughs> My throat's starting to go for bidding. Hold on a second. Which one of these is, is this the, uh, what is this? This is the halls, right? Okay. Is this good enough for me to, yeah, it looks, uh, yeah, does that look good to you? Look at that, look at that. Do you see that? Look, is, is Hall supposed to look chalky? I don't think so. Well, let me see, what else do I have here? Uh, another Halls. Let's see if this one's any better. Is it any better? No, look at that. See, on one side, it looks almost good. And on the other side, it looks terrible. Look at that. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me take off my earphones, if you don't mind, for a moment, folks, here. And let me go down here and get a fresh hauls. There we go. Then I won't cough during the show. See? I'm medicated, folks. I'm medicated. Uh, but anyway, so I... Uh, uh, so what was I saying? What was I talking about? I forgot now. Anyway, so I've given you a lesson in, uh, in how to not get a cold. Uh, um, by the way, uh, 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 here's another thing. You know, I like to think that I'm the Sacagawea of aging. Remember who Sacagawea was, Lewis and Clark? She was the woman who looked, uh, you know, walked ahead of the party with her hand to her forehead, looking at the distance and taking them across the country. She led them into the wilderness because she knew where she was going. Well, I'm kind of the Sacagawea of aging. I'm here to guide you through the wilderness of aging and tell you what you have to expect. 
And um, uh, I don't know that there's anything really, excuse me if I blow my nose. There we go. Um, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, uh, about aging, that um, as you get older, everything goes wrong that should go wrong. Betty Davis once said, aging ain't for sissies. And it's true, it is, it is a daunting process. And I, you know something, I really don't know what I have to live for. I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Every morning I wake up and say, what do I have to live for? I don't have a career anymore, so I can't like be excited that something's happening in my career or I'm continuing in my career or I have a job to do in my career. So I don't have that. Um, I'm, I'm happily married, so I don't have any girlfriends. And before when I had girlfriends, that kept me really active because I was, you know, if nothing more, just trying to keep them all away from each other. Uh, and then, um, um, uh, what else? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, none of, uh, none of the things that used to work work as well as they used to work. I mean, my feet are numb. I've got a torn meniscus. And, uh, you know, but there's nothing seriously wrong with me. Oh, excuse me, except for the cancer. Pass that around. Alex Bennett has cancer. I want to see how many people call me up and go, Alex, I heard you had cancer. Speaking of which, I was talking to my ex-wife, Ronnie, today because she, you know, has, she's terminal. She's going to die. Uh, and, and she's very, it handles it very interestingly. Um, but uh, if I were in her situation, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably be going nuts right now. You know, I would not take that kind of news very well. But, and she said she hasn't taken it that well, but she's come to terms with it finally. And she did some therapy, which we're going to talk about the next time she's on, that is helping her get through this. Because, you know, my father once said to me, because I always quote my father because he was the wisest man I ever knew. He said to me, he said, uh, when I die, I want to get hit by a Mack truck. He said, I don't want anything that's going to linger and I'm going to suffer and uh, I'm going to have one operation after another. I just, you just, the Mack truck comes along, boom, I don't know what happened to me. And you can then all go to the funeral and feel sorry. And I kind of agree with that, you know, that uh, I don't know if I would want to go through some kind of prolonged situation like, say, Ronnie is going through. Uh, because that, that, that would, I don't know, drive me nuts. And I have another friend. I got a call, a note the other day. This guy, I, you know, I have got, got, got willed a, a certain amount of money and uh, um, a photo, half a photographic collection from this woman that I knew. Uh, so that we can hopefully in some way promote her pictures. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're trying. Uh, and the guy who is kind of my partner in this because he got half the photos and half the money writes me the other day and says, I've got cancer, lung cancer. He had pneumonia, went into the hospital. They took some x-rays and they said, guess what? You know, so I, I, I don't like this kind of information. It just it bothers me. And, I, I, you know, I've got one person in Ronnie. You know, Ronnie is, was my wife. But even though somebody was your wife, they're kind of still family, you know. And in recent years, we've become very good friends. And I, I feel very bad about it. So anyway, uh, hey, guess what? I actually talked for a half hour. Gee, I guess that's what I do for a living, huh? Let me go to the, uh, let me go to the, uh, let me go to the, yeah, we're going to it. Okay, we are now on Skype. So if anybody wants to call, see, that's a blank screen right there. That's Skype without anybody on it, right? In fact, they keep bugging me. This version of Skype will be discontinued soon. To continue using Skype, fuck you. I hate Skype. I wish there were another thing than Skype. I wish some, somebody out there start another company with uh, it's better than Skype and runs better and is more uh, user friendly because we've been trying to work with the new Skype, especially for uh, Jack Bishop, who can't roll his back for some reason or another. And I tried playing with it over uh, a remote PC program, and it is so unintuitive 
and counterintuitive that you it, it almost can't figure out how it works. I mean, if you're going to improve something, what you do is make it simple enough that you can make it work. Now, Skype works very easily for me. For instance, somebody rings, and then they have a picture, and then what I do is I then do that, and there's like like Jeff Stein. Hi, Jeff. Hello, hello. How you doing? I've been as sick as you have. Really? Yeah. yeah. You had the cold? I've been going to the doctor, all kinds of pills. Really? Yeah. I mean, come on, it's just a cold, right? <laughs> yeah, same thing. Yeah. Well, you don't know that it's the same thing. <clears throat> well, I know. You know, I mean, but I've got, uh, uh, I'm, I'm like, uh, really, it's a terrible cold. And I don't know how I got it. Um, somebody gave it to me, but I don't go out that much. I, in fact, I haven't been out for about three days. I've been indoors all the time. But I somehow I got it anyway. Uh, hey, here, here comes Vernon. Here's Vernon Nunn, ladies and gentlemen. That's his doggy, too, that picture. There's Vernon's doggy. Uh, hello, Vernon. How are you? Wait a minute. His picture is there. It is there. It is. Where where are, well, you're back home again? Yep. And look at that. That is a whole ham set back there and everything. Ah, here comes uh, here comes Phil Meyer uh, to m make our lives a living hell. Hello, Phil. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I just want to tell you, last night's show was one of the best you've ever done. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you watch the video? Over and over. Yeah. Yeah, I put it on a loop, and it just ran over and over. <laughs> there was no way last night, I'm telling you, there's no way last night I could do the show. I know. You know? You and sounded I, like and, shit. And, uh, huh? I sounded <laughs> like shit. Thank you yeah, very yeah, much. Yeah, you did. Um, but I feel, uh, uh, I don't, I feel, I do feel better today. It's just I don't feel great today. Like, I've got, to take care of the stomach cramps, I took some Imodian. And uh, I took a little, I took one, or you're supposed to take two of the, of the Dayquil, okay? So I will not, my well, nose will not be dripping as much for the next couple of hours, you know. I, the reason you get cramps is if you're taking these hormones, you may be getting a period. No, I'm not and taking <laughs> hormones yet. <laughs> All right. Vernon was very nice. Vernon wrote me a very uh, reassuring note a while back about, about the PSA test and everything, and you you had a bout with, uh, I hate to say, a bout with the uh, uh, touch of the cancer. Touch of the cancer, <laughs> but they managed to curb it, right? Yeah, there's a there's a couple of different ways they can treat it. One is what they did to Phil. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. <clears throat> one one is uh, they could do nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, one is they can put these little uh, seeds in the prostate that will that will uh, irradiate the prostate from internally. And yeah. one is the treatment that I took, which was uh, radiation treatments externally. You, they put you <clears throat> in this machine. And this little uh, radiation machine kind of goes over the top of you, and it stops every 45 degrees and shoots a beam, a real narrow beam, at a pinpoint, uh, and and it uh, you know, it's focused on the prostate and causes it to shrink. And my my PSA went from 9.2 down to 0.4. Didn't you say Was that the pro? Did, um, didn't you, wait a minute, yeah, didn't you say that you did um, that you you did hormones? Though? No, no, you no. didn't do the hormones. No. Well, my doctor uh, said that what he would do is give me hormones. He says it will it will literally bring the PSA down to a point one. Yeah. You know? David Hajek uh, had something called proton therapy. Yeah. Uh, I, I looked into it, and they said you know that uh, there's it may come back, and you know what? If, if sometimes if it comes back, you, bless you. If you have these kinds of therapies. Now, I thought Marjorie had a friend that had the seeds, the radioactive seeds. I don't know if he had and, the seeds, but he's dead. So we, yeah, we and, can't and use it, him it as came a, back. And Marjorie told me it was the seeds. So, you know, you might want to. He told me, uh, the doctor told me that with what I probably, if I have it, what I probably have is, uh, uh, is uh, the kind of thing where he just gives you hormones and it literally knocks out about 98% of the, of the, the, cancer did you have a biopsy done no 
Not yet. Okay. Uh, no, and, and that's the it, only way they can really tell. It, it's is not. If they do it's, a biopsy. It's not necessary in the future. I'm six months from now. I'm going back to them. We're taking a new test. This one went up. It went up to like four three, and my uh, free PSA was kind of low, down around a nine. So on the thing, it said I have an eighty five percent chance of cancer. But my doctor told me, the reason I don't like people to read their own results is you really don't know what they mean. You know. Well, that's true. And that. Well, that, plus that, you could have a low-grade infection or something that could exactly. cause PSA to go up. Well, he, exactly. he went in there, he looked at my prostate with the sonogram, and he looked at, uh, he stuck his finger up there to feel around just to do that one, which is kind of the uh, gold standard test. And he said, uh, you know, your prostate looks pretty good. I said, doesn't look really good? He said, well, it's a little large. And he said, you've got some calcium deposits there. I said, but I don't see anything. You know, so what do you have his head up your ass? How's he going to see it? <laughs> <laughs> he did it with a sonogram in, in, in my, oh. up my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, 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 that sonogram thing, they stick in because uh, now they're doing these uh, uh, biopsies where they put in, uh, a thing in there and they it's do a, a uh, it's a sonogram. It's not a sonogram, it's a MRI. Well, no, I think it's a sonogram. Well, when, when they did my biopsy, they had a probe that actually had a sonogram built into it yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. So they could actually see where they were taking the biopsy from. Yeah. 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 But he said, I'm, I'm looking around the back of your prostate. I'm looking around the front of your prostate. And he couldn't see anything. You know, so he said, come back in six months. Let's see if the thing goes up. Then we'll decide what we're going to do next. He says, if at some point we decide that you've got a, a low grade cancer. He says, we just do the hormones. He says, you'll live to be 95. I said, well, that's better than I expected. So give me those hormones you right now, you know, but, uh, anyway, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm using it. When girlfriend says, take out the garbage, I go, not now I've got, can I've got cancer. You know, <laughs> would you like to go out and have dinner tonight? No, I don't think so. The, can nah. the cancer's acting up. <laughs> But there's a 70% chance that everybody here will have it. And uh, I was talking to my business manager today. I said, do you get a PSA test? He says, not anymore. Well, and I look, said, you, you, I you, said look at, you, you don't know. You, you might have it, but it doesn't matter if you do have it because you're going to live longer. You're gonna, your life expectancy is not as long as the expectancy of that cancer. Well, it's true. It's true. There's yeah. three people on this panel of five that have cancer so or had no, so, or prostate oh, 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 yeah. no. Four out of five. Uh, four out of five? Yeah. That's good because then I'm the one lone guy that doesn't have it. So, oh, no, no. did, did, did Jeff have it? <laughs> no, Jeff didn't have it. No. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, two, no, he just know, had hard, hard problems. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, he's been sick enough. Yeah, the only healthy one here is fucking <laughs> Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Don't poison it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, um, you know, uh, supposedly, I mean, the, the prostate uh, uh, cancer is something that 90 percent of men, if they live long enough, will get. So it, it's it, comforting. It, it, well, no, it, 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 it's comforting in that it is not the kind that's going to kill you. OK. And they just take what they call a wait and watch method, which is don't <laughs> jump into it. You know. Now, I imagine, you know. It will kill you, but they're going to push you in front of a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm worried about my wife killing me more than I am about. I heard your pregame or the the pre you know the first half hour where you're talking about what your father said, and I am so down with that. I I am not afraid to die. I'm afraid of what I'm going to die of. So yeah, I am so yeah. down with that. You know, bolt of lightning, a bus. A terrible car wreck. I don't care. Whatever it is, let it wipe me out. Well, I don't want to have to find okay. out like Ronnie's going through. Okay, but let me give you the alternative. All right? The alternative is you get wiped out by a Mack truck. Okay? You don't know what happened to you. You're dead. But that morning you had a fight with your wife and left the house with it unresolved or... There were a whole bunch of things. What I liked about people who I've read about knowing they were going to die, and people like Audrey Hepburn and uh, uh, Ingrid Bergman and so on, they went, dead. Back, they went back home. They went back home and said their goodbyes to everybody and made peace with the people they wanted to make peace with and all that. So there is an advantage 
I don't to care. going slowly in in, Fuck them all. in wrapping stuff up. Well, Fuck let them me, all. okay, let me let me let me give you a, an example. Ronnie brought this up. You know, she found out a couple of months ago that a kid that she had when she was nineteen, I think, maybe eighteen, um, suddenly found her through Ancestry.com. They they were they, you know they say, hey, you have somebody that's you know could be your son or is your son or whatever, and they got together and she got to meet what is her grandchild. She says, people I never knew, I never knew existed, and they, the kid turned out to be a great kid, and she said, I was very happy with that. And uh, she said, if I had not had that operation uh, a while back on the pancreas uh, that at least kept me alive for a while, uh, I would have never had that. And she said, it's so wonderful that with all that's going on in my life, this one basic unresolved incident in my life has been resolved. And I think it's wonderful. I'm so happy for her. I could, can't believe it, you know. Uh, there's a it's a high price to pay for that. There's a high price to pay for that. And the sad part about it is her son just found her, and he knows he's not going to have her much longer, you know. It's not uh, that high. Ancestry was on sale for forty nine ninety five. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's uh, sixty nine ninety five. Uh, yeah, inflation. It's the tariffs. Well, it's all Trump's fault. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, but uh, that, you know, I mean, um, yeah. The question is, how do you want to die? You know, and uh, uh, I, I think that we never choose the way we're going to die. That's the problem. You know. I just don't want to die at my desk, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Which desk? The one you're at now? Well, that, I die at this one four nights a week. But uh. <laughs> well, well, I often, I often said that I want to die while I was on the air. Yeah, you know, because I mean, you good ratings Murray, that way. Hmm? Jack well, Spector died that way. Did Jack How did Spector it work for die Murray on the K? air? Huh? Jack Spector died on the air at WHLI. Oh, really? Yeah, he was playing a record. He was, you know, the 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 oldie, the standard. Yeah. You know, he was working there, and a record just ended, and dead air, dead air. And they went running into the studio. They found him on the floor, dead. Wow, good for him. Yeah. You know, you died the way you lived. You know. Yeah. I mean, I spent my entire time in radio studios, and I figured, man, eh, yeah, it wouldn't be if I had to drop dead heart attack right on the air, thump. What, Alex? Yeah. Wait a minute. Do you know on, how everybody. dirty the floors are in radio studios? <laughs> You're dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but you want to die on one of those floors? And they get very... That's the way I'd want to go. And they do get very dirty. I remember when I left Sirius, a company that was making money, the floors were filthy. The carpets were just... They needed to re-carpet the whole mm. place. Yeah. And they couldn't decide whether they wanted to or not. Yeah. I don't know. Why do radio studios carpets get so filthy? Because you live in them. The shockies are pigs. You live in them. You eat in there. You eat in there. You do everything in them. Yeah. 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 There's something about the smell of a radio studio that I really love. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't. I can't. When I, when you walk into a radio station and go into that control room, there's something about the smell that just is like. It's all that carbon tetrachloride they use to clean electronic. It's uh, is, burning is, wires. <laughs> no, there wires. Uh, uh, there is a smell in a radio studio. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder if this studio smells that way at all. You know, I have a lot of electronic, I have a lot of electronic equipment in here. Yeah. So, whatever. Yeah, uh, but it's not. You're. Ju- it's just you in there, and it's your home. It's not a. Ra- it's not a radio studio that doesn't get clean the way a home does, and. You know, that the, the carpeting on the walls that they have and all that and that, you know, your room has got a lot of mirror in front of you. It's all mirror and all that. Mm-hmm. It's different. The, you know, the walls are different. There's something about the smell. And a lot of them have been around from the days of when you were able to smoke in the studios. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's all built in. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you, you must have at least 12 people every day or something like that. At one time, yeah. Today, you got morning drive and, and, and maybe afternoon drive, and yeah. the rest of the day it sits empty. But, yeah, at one time it was man 24-7, mm-hmm. somebody in there, and people smoked, and the microphones always smelt like shit, the, 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 you know, the foam on the microphone. and ugh, the, you know, I used to, A lot of people I know brought their own. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, it, 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 I, I, I just, there was always, I, I lived in radio studios. I grew up in radio studios, you know. So, Phil, I ordered my Mac Pro. Congratulations. Here's what I'm, I hope you enjoy it. Here's what I'm getting, a Mac Pro with yeah. Sierra in it. Uh, see, well, you can upgrade it. Uh, of course. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's a Mac Pro, 64 gigabytes, one, very te nice. one terabyte SSD. Are you ready for this? 12 yeah. core. Wow. 2. Uh, you know, 2.7, uh, 12 core. Uh, right. To get 64, uh, was it gigabytes yeah. of memory, uh, Newegg, it's like 550 bucks. So uh, plus tax, plus whatever else they do to you. Mm -hmm. So uh, what did you pay for the thing? Three grand? About 32, 3300, uh, 32, 33, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, you know, if you would have gotten, uh, you know, a more basic one like mine, I think I have 16 gigs well, the and, current and, a, retail and a six price, core. The current retail price of this exact configuration is $6,999. Yeah. No wow. way I was going to pay that. Yeah, well, you know, that, that machine that you have... Is is the kind of machine they were using at Pixar a few years ago, yeah. and, and 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 so forth. It, it is so powerful. Uh, you'll you'll really like it. The the gigahertz the gigahertz on it is low, which is a two point seven. But you have to then add all the two point sevens together in each of the cores. Uh -huh. And supposedly for doing things like video and stuff, it's just it's fast. It's a monster. It? It's a monster. So, yeah. you know, uh, I've got a but, reason to, to use it. I got it to do all the stuff with these photographs of my friend and maybe putting together a documentary on her. So, yeah. Well, it sounds like you could create an avatar of yourself, Alex, and then the avatar could do the show. Yeah, well, that, that's that too. <laughs> and then the avatar, you know, the first words come out of his mouth. Hey, folks, I've got cancer. <laughs> uh, my, my Mac Pro processor is a 3.5, 6 core Xenon E5. I don't know what that oh, is. Yeah, mine also has the not. What is it? The uh, uh, the D700 Fire Pro. That's the same one I have. The graphics AMD Fire Pro D700. Yeah. 6144. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Megabytes. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm. Uh, you know, I like this. Uh, you know, if I had a little bit more memory, which I will get. Uh, you know, when I use Can the sliders. Can you buy it after oh, yeah. market? Oh yeah, so yeah. You get it cheaper then. You know, if you buy it from from Apple, it'll cost you more than if no, you buy it after the, market. The new New Egg, I think, is about the cheapest well, I'll tell you, for that. I'll tell you why I went to. Of course, these are all two hundred two 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 thousand thirteen um, yeah. pros because they haven't made one since then. The uh, new one they're saying is going to be fourteen thousand for a similar configuration. Uh, well, fourteen thousand yeah. dollars, right? Yeah. You could get a server cheaper than that. What are they nuts? Well, you don't need a server. Yeah, you know, but anyway, uh, uh, what I figure is that uh, um, even if it's used, uh, they say it's in, in the description was superb condition, in, not a nick or scratch on it, just really yeah. in good shape. And I, I, from what I know of Macs, because I've had Macs, uh, they don't go, they don't die on you. They uh, just don't. If they're going to die, they're going to die in the first week. But you know. The Mac Pro I've got sitting here has been going since 2011, and another one I was using in the other room has been going since about 2007. Oh uh, yeah, that thing. I bought my Mac Pro from a friend. Yeah. You know, uh, lives in New York now, and uh, he bought it in Australia when he moved to New York. Uh, it, it still had the Australian plug on it, uh -huh. so uh, I had to call up Apple. Uh, it's hard to buy a plug because it's a proprietary uh, plug that the way it fits into the back i don't think so yeah it's uh it's it's smooth it's got a shroud on it and it and it matches the uh the uh the back oh i see uh, yeah i know the, the design. They, they have the same thing on the uh on the imac they have the same thing on my computer down here it's, a, it's like it's just a slightly a diff, different configuration yeah but, i could have used the regular you, but you one can, you just buy it from apple right uh yeah but for them to sell it to me they they went through all sorts of gyrations. They couldn't they couldn't find it in inventory. They didn't have. Oh come Finally, on! They could, yeah, come on! It, it, it took four phone calls, and the guy was so embarrassed that he sent it to me for free. 
It's a standard part for crying it out It is way. not. Well, it, it's standard for the Mac Pro, but yeah. not for the rest of the... But I mean, to think they, they certainly should have it in stock. Uh, well, it took them uh, several phone calls. It was, it, it, was, uh, it was a joke, you know, and also because my Mac was originally made in Australia yeah. or, or it, was it, in the, it has a serial number that goes back to Australia purchase. Yeah. They, they had a hard time putting two and two together. So finally, they sent me one. What are these? One of the geniuses at the Genius Bar? No, this was uh, Apple Care on on uh, on on the phone. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. I also got my I uh, got my uh, American Express rewards points back. Yeah. So now now I can go buy something else with the rewards points. <laughs> but, How yeah. you enjoying the sand? I I you mean the NAS? The NAS, yeah. NAS. I love it. I love it. I think it's terrific. Mine is powered off. The, what? Mine is powered off. I oh. don't like it. You don't like it? Why? No. It's too fucking noisy. I I had, found, uh, I'll tell you, I found it noisy in the beginning, and now I don't seem to mind it. Well, it, I know what no, you're talking about, the hard drive noise while yeah. it was doing the raid. It was building the raid, but mine vibrates, and, and it drives me up a wall, and I don't want to put it. Put a rubber pad under it. I'm worried that a rubber pad under it would not give it the, the uh, what the, do you call uh, it, the, oh, the, uh, uh, the vent, ventilation, ventilation that it needs. Well, no, the ventilation it, comes out of the back. There's a fan yeah, in the back. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I could try a rubber pad, yeah. but the damn thing just, and it makes me nuts, and well, I have it sitting in my you, office you know powered you, off. You know what you do? Fucking hate this wait, thing. Wait a get, get a, a drobo. Get, get a hold of the company. Uh, I dealt with them. Uh, I did two with a couple of things, and they so were far. very good. They were very good. Maybe yours is defective uh, because yours doesn't make that noise, Alex. No, my, of course, You've got I, a different model. I have a different oh. model. I have the four. Uh, well, send it back. You have the Tell two. Them you're not you, happy have the, you have the so two. So the problem with sending it back is I didn't buy it from Amazon. I bought it from Woot, and Woot doesn't take things back. Mm. You oh. got to deal with the manufacturer. Well, I would get you get a hold of them. They're very good. I'll tell you. I mean, I had a problem with mine that I it wasn't a terrible problem. It was just I did something and I didn't know how to undo it. And the guy literally got on my machine from China or wherever he is and and uh, removed the the folder that I needed to have removed and then told me how to get rid of it. And I mean, he spent he spent a couple of good hours trying to figure out what my problem was, and all I spent was two hundred and eighty-five dollars. Right, uh, I, so I really have a great love for that company, and I think the, the the product seems to be really good. The only thing I don't like about a raid is that on raid five, I've got sixteen terabytes of drives in there, but I'm only yielding about ten point seven. Well, obviously, that's because you're that's using it. Uh, as as a raid uh, to, to have backup. Yeah. You so know? if you lose a drive, you're you're in good shape. The, that's the cost of yeah. of having that. You know. Now what if you did being protected? Isn't there a raid three there? No. Oh. There's raid. There's I, raid I, one. I'm, raid I'm, five and raid six. I'm use. I have raid six. I have five eight terabyte drives, and I have twenty one terabytes of storage. Five eight uh, terabyte drives. That means you have five times eight is what forty. Right, but I only have 21 because I'm running RAID 6. Yeah, and RAID 6 is actually two drives that you're right. giving up. Because That's right. You can, but you can afford to lose two drives in your RAID group without losing your data. Right. Now, what do you use it for, Alex? I'm curious as to what you're u practically using it for right now. Porn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not using it practically for anything right now, but I have had in this house several different drives i have two drives here one is tv and one is is movies okay i took a lot of my movies and i converted them to files so i can then watch tv programs or whatever anywhere in the house the other the other one is actually is porn uh but uh, what i'm doing is i'm just playing around with it right now i haven't figured out exactly what i'm going to use it for okay i was curious because i am i you know i'm sitting here wondering the same thing like it mine doesn't have a mine doesn't have an HDMI port on the back, so you you can't plug it directly into like your home theater system or your TV. So you would have to use like Plex 
or no, you'd have well, to use one of those. Do, all you got to do is uh, like what kind of um, what kind of uh, uh, TV set do you have? Who makes who makes the brand? Uh, I've got all, any number of them. I um, I've got Vizio. I've got Samsung. Okay, I've got all, uh, of them, all of those have. Well, so they're all smart TVs. All of them have DLNA. Yes. And so you just simply run your programs through the DLNA from your uh, from your NAS. And in the but NAS, don't you need a you need a program you well, need a DLNA yeah, well, program well, on the a NAS. Well, there's a DLNA right? program on the NAS. If you look at the uh, control center, there's a whole area where you can in, in, in put on turn on the DLNA, and you do that's what I do. And so I get them on all my TV sets in the house. Have you tried it yet? Have you yes. have you put a movie on there and tried oh, it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Watch oh, okay. I haven't. Of, I haven't. Uh, you know, since first I had so many problems with it. Right. Yeah. I had the drive go bad. Mm. Um, I, you know, so and then I finally got all the drives and everything is in there, and I was excited. And then I, I just I was sitting in my office and I'm trying to work, and th and I'm on on the phone, and I'm talking to people, and this thing is just humming, and I was like, shut it down. Do you I think should. it's because you bought eighty nine dollar drives? These no, these drives what, were like almost three hundred bucks a piece. I bought these drives, uh, the drives he got, same exact drives, yeah. and they're all working perfectly. Okay. No. Yeah. They're, they're, it's, just, it's it's the Chintzy. Now the caddies, the you know, Alex, on your device, yeah. the caddies that fit around the drives, They're you know, chintzy. that you slide them in. They're chintzy. Are they plastic or are they metal? Plastic. Okay, so you got plastic ones too. I, I mine. There's no way. Normally, you screw them on. Yeah. You screw the drives into them. The yeah. mine, you only have like these little. These little pins on the that fit into the holes, and you can just spread it, and it comes apart. Oh, no, 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 what, no. What mine has is it has a hole, and then has some screws that <laughs> come with. Uh, it. See, I don't have screws. I think that's part of the problem. I think those drives vibrate. You got and that could well be it, because I my think. all mine uh, had screws. The screws came with the with the uh, uh, machine. Right. And uh, I just installed all of them uh, using those screws, and I don't get any rattling at all from the uh, drives yeah, right. at all. Rob, I tell us, tell these guys that, that the drive was defective, and you want to send it back. I've already had different drives, and it's not the, same the drive. Thing. I'm sorry, the 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 unit. I'm, and, I'm surprised uh, you know, that send they it back, and then get another that NAS that you can I'm stick uh, your drives the, in. I'm surprised they didn't have the same. Uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, caddies. Uh, well, he's got a three or a four, and yeah, you got a three. Yeah. Got a four, and he has and a you three. Got a four, but, the, but, right. it, but it's the same basic machine, and it's the same basic company, so the caddies should be identical. They look alike you from have, the outside. Do you have? Are, are is yours? Do you have like um, a mine? You have to take. You have to take the case off to get to the drives. Yours, you have the things in the front. You can just open, right? right? You just pull them. Yeah, out. it's a. Yeah, it's a different. Uh, it's a different it form. It could factor. be that. Could be the reason. See, I'm <laughs> glad I, I bought the ones from Woot, and then I turned around and had Woot cancel my order, which was hell. hell yeah. Hell to pay. Uh, yeah. But I got them to do it, and then I went to Amazon and I saw this thing, and it was a hundred dollars higher, but for four, and uh, front loading. And uh, with the uh, uh, Amex uh, rewards, I didn't have to pay anything. So I'm wondering if I just if I call QNAP and tell them I'm very unhappy with it, if they'll just let me upgrade. They might. They might let you get, get, let you upgrade. They probably charge you a little bit for it. Well, obviously, I don't expect it free. But Why I mean, you tell them it's not working yeah, right. Them, I'll you know, tell it's you. That's what I'm noise. saying. It's noisy. You. I hate it, yeah, and I've got to get, get rid of it. They they are actually very 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 good. You know, yeah, I've had like three or four different help desk tickets open with them mm -hmm. on various things, and they're very responsive and they're very helpful. Yeah. Um, but this one, there's nothing they're going to be able to do about it. It's just, you know, if I hold it a certain way, mm -hmm. like if I pick it up and I hold it a certain way, it's quiet. But as soon as you, you know, make it flat, I think it that's, I think it's the hard drives and the way they yeah. they're seated in the uh, in the unit. Yeah, they vibrate like crazy. Yeah. In it. Yeah. Well, I Freaking was I, I found a lot of clicking going on, but I haven't heard it that much lately. Now well, that the machine has adjusted itself. Yeah. And so what's happened is it wrote all of its it it has to write uh, you know zeros 
it has to write zeros on all the disks to make the raid group, and it takes like 24 hours for that to happen. Okay. You don't have to format so that's them. What, or, you don't have to format them or anything. They just no. Do that, it it, that's part of the process yeah. when you plug the drives in, and then yeah. you set what raid you want. It yeah. goes through and formats yeah. it for you in that but raid. I'm, that's I'm, why it makes. It sounds like percolating. I'm very happy with it, and it's very fast. And you know what's fast? What's really fast compared to the other ones I have, which is like two Seagates. And by the way, they've stopped making these things. Seagates stopped making their network drives. Uh, But the Seagates, if I take something and put it on that drive, very slow. This thing, it's like just putting it on another hard drive. It's really yeah, fast. Yeah, because you got 7,200 7, RPMs times yeah, four. It's very so fast. That's why you're getting the use my, of multiple yeah. spindles. My yeah. 8 terabyte is there 5,400, 5,200, uh, 51? 54, I believe. 54. Yeah, I, I probably should have gotten the 70. Actually, uh, yeah, I should have gotten the 72s. Uh, you know, uh, well, I really wish although, I, I wish I could have afforded uh, a larger uh, drives, uh, but maybe at some point I will be rich enough that I can. So, well, you, know. you, I think you can use in the Durobo. You can use different size drives. You don't have to have. Uh, you don't have to have can all the same brand or all the same size ladies or let's, speed. Let's, let's, let's typically do with a raid group. Let, let's get the audience a little bit up to speed of what we're talking about. These are uh, drives that are, it's a series of drives that all work in conjunction with each other and give you a massive amount of, of space and then allows you to network those drives out to your TV sets around the house. Um, I'm, I'm freezing. Uh, my, uh, my internet's freezing. Well, don't worry. Uh, yeah. No, you look fine. Uh, but anyway. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, you guys uh, freeze. Yeah, okay, well, anyway. so Audio is fine, though, but your what, video is kind of skipping okay, a Okay, what I was saying, what I was saying is, is that, that uh, now I forgot what I was saying. Uh, can I, You're explaining can, oh, the oh, can I, can I, I can't take, like, go get an eight and put it in there and I get more space, no, do I? not typically, not typically. But if I uh, went and got three more eights, then it would all... If it, you have any slots left over or no? No. Okay, so no, you 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 would have to rebuild your NAS with bigger drives. And they don't oh, have to change the subject. They, but how's your cold? It's terrible. Uh, each uh, each wait a minute. You don't. It, but each one has to be the same size, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what? You might want to consider doing if you, when you get down to all the streaming is you might want to team the NICs on the back. Take both of those NICs, and there's there's a way you can team them, which aggregates the two one gig connections, and so you get two gigs. Really? Yep. I it's have... called it's called teaming, network teaming, NIC teaming. Well, wait a minute! I have more than a gig going out here. You only have a gig. I'm not talking about to the internet. I'm talking about around your house. Around my house, I get. Uh... I, I, you can't get more than a gig. Do you, you don't mean? have 10 gig networking in your well, house. Life, you bet your life I do. You what are you, you talking 10, about? 10 days T or 100 T? I, Man, he's hardwired. What are you, I, you're, you're hardwired. I, you, you have I, 10 I, gig I, switches? I have, uh, I have uh, my I, – I change the switch in the, in the bedroom, and in the bedroom I'm getting like about 600 up and about 700 down, something like that. Megs, not Megs. gigs. Megs, yeah, not a gig. Yeah, no. Megs. Right. Because you could take the two one gig ports and yeah. you can team them. Yeah. On the back of the the array, and then you'll have double the throughput. Oh, that's so interesting. something that's what I what I wanted to do. I, yeah. Uh, well, not this, is, do anything this is all this beyond array. our audience. See, I flip and we're, the we're, switch in my bedroom, and the light goes we're on. We're starting to lose audience on this deal uh, as we're talking about it. So, uh, what's new with you, Brian? Anything pissing you off? Oh, how silly of me to ask. <laughs> no, well, um, well, one thing I asked it how your uh, cold was because uh, I was, evidently you seem to be persevering in spite of it. You know, that was. Well, I just I just decided tonight I wasn't as bad as last night. Last night, walking on. I just said there was no on. way I could do a fucking show. You know. Walking on eggshells, I realize what I'm about to say is walking on eggshells, but you said it yourself, you're 79 now. When you have something like that happen to you, it's kind of like, okay, I'm, is, is this uh, the beginning? Yeah, I have had grandparents who've had something as innocuous as that happen to them, and then, you know, a week later, 
Yeah. Well, saying. I had horrible stomach cramps before I went on tonight. I immediately thought, well, is this it? Is this the stomach cancer? <laughs> what is it? You know, is this how I'm going to go? Because I don't usually get stomach cramps. You know? But uh, yeah, speaking of age differences, part of it is remind, part of it is you know you know what can give you the cramps is when you got a cold. You start uh, oh, sneezing. Yeah. No, no, you I, start swallowing the mucus. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. That and it can fuck with you. It can give you sinus headaches and shit like that. And while also, I find out during allergy season, especially during allergy season, and, my uh, yeah. upper arms and, 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 and I know I, my I, wrists still get sore. I know I don't sound like I have much of a cold, do I? A little no, bit, no. just a little oh, bit, okay. maybe. Uh, but this morning, I was like, yes, I was, you know. Yeah. But uh, you asked if there was anything pissing me off. Oh, not really. Just like I said, a reminder of just how uh, that that I'm no longer in my 20s and that I'm staring at 40 through a, through a pair of binoculars and not a telescope anymore. Brian, uh, I, kinda... I, I, I noticed that every decade something else breaks down. When I hit 40, it was the eyes. 50, it was uh, other stuff. 60, now it's the cancer uh, and, uh, you know, and the heart. Uh, so, you know, the 70s, I'm actually, looking forward to. Actually, I've been pretty lucky. I mean, it, knock on wood, I've been pretty lucky. I mean, I haven't had any much breakdown on me. This last couple of years, you know, uh, the uh, the men torn meniscus, but what's that? You know, it's, it's common. It's a sports injury. The only thing is, I don't do sports, but it's a sports injury nonetheless. Uh, and... Um, I, if it goes, I just say it's just playing tackle football. You know, I'm talking I mean. about more intellectual and attitude differences, the way in which we see the world. Case in point, just earlier this evening, I went on, on a quote-unquote date with someone who's 10 years younger than myself, and mm -hmm. uh, I, came, I came to the – I had a crash I, I, I take it. I, I take how it, different we are as people. Yeah, I take it this was a guy because you're a homo, yes. right? Yeah. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Still, yeah, you know, the age difference. You're a homo American. I think I should probably put it that way. That's the, the age problem. difference is as dynamic between a man and a man and a woman and a woman as it is between uh, two people of the opposite sex. Well, you know, you know, there, uh, I always think there's an advantage to being gay, and I'm going to tell you the main advantage. Okay, uh, when I had girlfriends, if uh, I, let's say it was coming up on Christmas, and I bought her a present, and she decided to break up with me a week before Christmas, all right. I'm stuck with this gift I got her. But if I'm homosexual, I just wear it myself. <laughs> you know? Unless you're there's like the me, advantage. you're going to be attracted there, to people there, there's, more there, effeminate. There, there's the advantage or, right or, there. Or if you shop at Nordstrom's, you can bring it back. That, and if you're attracted to men who are more effeminate and who are of smaller frame and stature than you are, yeah, the, dyna the negative dynamic of what you just explained yeah. still applies. Yeah, still especially applies. if we're yeah, talking but, about clothing. So but anyway, if so, bought, but if you bought him a really cool piece of tech or yeah. a cool electronics thing, because guys would get into that where women would find that not yeah. too good. You got at least you got the tech. Oh, the main complaint <laughs> I get from girlfriend is he bought me another electronic piece of equipment. Right. Yeah, well, it's what I know how to buy, okay? I don't know how to buy you a dress. Because, and she says, well, buy me anything. I can always take it back. And I say, but That's that is... That's why But I say, that isn't the idea of a fucking present. The idea of a present is I give it to you and you use it. Yeah, That's why cards. Tiffany's is so easy. You can get the Elsa Peretti thing. You can get the bracelet. You can get... And it's not, it's not as expensive uh, you get, as... You get the like, Tiffany... Uh, here's the one everybody's had one of. The Tiffany's um, key ring. Oh yeah, yeah. That's and why uh, I love gift cards, man. Yeah. I had one the of those Tiffany key pen. rings. I think it lasted me twenty five years. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, it originally had my name on it, engraved on it, on a little tag that was hanging on it, and as the years went on, my name completely wore off. You know. Yeah, well, you know, and it's most of the stuff is silver, so it's cheaper than gold. Yeah. And hey, people like the box. Yeah. Uh, it's the easiest gift to get. And yeah. if they don't like it, they can bring it back and get something else. And, and you know, I would imagine that being gay, whether you're a woman or you're a man, is good because uh, you have the equipment and you know how it's supposed to feel. You know, uh, and does that make sense, Brian? Am I speaking any kind of truth there? You're in the ballpark. Yeah. At the yeah. least. Yeah. But like I said before, I'm a pragmatic man with uh, some social uh, 
inadequacies, in other words, social skills inadequacies, uh, in, in the sense that that's um, one more reason why I absolutely love gift cards. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, uh, although I was not a big fan of doing it, it was not my main agenda was uh, eating pussy. I could do a pretty good job of it, but I don't think I could do anywhere the job that another woman could do. Mm. Because mm -hmm. she has the equipment. She knows what it's supposed to feel like, what works and what doesn't work. You know? You're right there. Me, she has to give me, she has to give me directions. Lower, lower, more to the side, more to the side, lower, lower. You know. Proximity makes a difference. Yep, yep, certainly does. Um, mm -hmm. And familiarity, for that matter. Yeah, you, go to, you go too low, and it starts tasting funny. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you had to That's bring that up. That's why it's shower first, then that. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I heard that the actor Terrence Howard, that's why he has wipes in his house. Wants to eat a girl out from the ass or the pussy. You know. That's why he has wipes. Really? That's well, what I heard. Yesterday, I, I didn't have time to shower, but I had to. I wiped my ass clean yesterday before I left the house with like some <laughs> soap and water and everything because I knew the guy was going to stick his finger up my ass. You know, this and he was Charmin and he, and he was going to put that uh, probe in there. And I knew he was going to do that. And I said to myself, uh, he's I don't want a big clump of shit coming out, you know, when he leaves. So I was in there rooting around and cleaning it. You know, I mean, your doctor don't have the wipes in the bathroom there. Uh, I'm sure he does. I'm sure. He, yeah. You know, he I mean, normal... well, I mean, he has the gloves. They all have the gloves. Doctor, here's they got them in here's the bathroom. something I do. I'm a thief. OK, may I admit this readily? And wait a minute, where is it? When I go to the hospital, like let's say a girlfriend goes to the hospital and she's got broke her knee. OK, and she's in some kind of room where they're waiting to see her and and so on over on the wall. What do they have? Yeah. The Free shit. The box. O gloves. <laughs> Free shit. And That's I, what I, say. I always Those are the good ones. I always steal the gloves, and I get the more, most colorful ones I can lay my hands on. What do you do with them? What do you need those I, gloves? I do nothing with them. I just uh, have them, and in case I'm ever on a detective show where I have to look at a corpse, you know, I'm ready wow. to go. I, I have. Do you ever pretends. go into the drawers too? I go into the drawers. Do you really? Oh yeah, I pull out all the free shit I can get. Yeah, That's funny. I uh, have never. I feel. Ever I feel like O.J. Simpson right that. now. Oh uh, yeah, I, because you know you get the you get the little packs of alcohol wipes and shit because yeah. they're good. They're good for you know around the house. You can wipe stuff down before you stick stuff on the walls and yeah. stuff like that. But anyway, so I always every time I go to the hospital, I I, I do that when they're not around because hey, you're going to make me wait. I'm going to take something home. I Plus, know, we pay for I, that I, shit. I, well, I you know, didn't think maybe they have a camera in there. Well, I just got yeah, probably. I, I just not, got I just got the know. bill for Marjorie at the emergency room, and it was something like I don't know. Eight hundred dollars or something like that. That was cheap. Yeah, uh, Is I, that I the full the full thing or uh, just your portion. Uh, that was the that was not my our portion. Our portion was like you know sixteen bucks or something like that. But pretty good. My wife but gets, when, but yes, if I'm gonna if yeah, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna if they're gonna spend that much money on me, I think I, they can afford a pair of gloves for me to take home. <laughs> Maybe the That's whole the way day. I look at it. My Maybe. wife gets pissed off. She goes, get, "Close that drawer. Get out of there. Get but out of they, here." They already use that pair of gloves. With hey, the these will be good. Ass. This will be good next time we're going to smoke a joint. You know. <laughs> there you go. A little <laughs> forceps. Yeah. yeah, forceps. Yeah. You know. What if they just turned those gloves inside out after they used it, and then you stole them, and uh, you stick your thumb in well, it? Well, I mean, they're forceps, or as some of my kinkier girlfriends used to call them, nipple clamps. So you know. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, you like that yeah. one, huh, Kevin? Yeah, the hands are cold. That's the sound you make. So, Vernon, what have you been up to? We haven't uh, seen you in a couple of weeks. Uh, uh, growing old. You know, it seems to be the theme of this fucking show. And I, I, <laughs> I know, that's why I said that. Uh, I turned 70 next Tuesday. Do you really? Happy birthday. Yeah. Good, good. Are you look Tuesday you? is when? It's the 15th? Yeah, I'm born right. the same day as Martin Luther King Jr. And, and I'm the 14th, so I turn 62 Monday. There you go. Yeah, oh. and uh, mine, you, mine's the 31st, and I, I turn uh, 39. So, yeah. no. um, uh, Do you see the story about Netflix? <laughs> what story no. about Netflix? There are a lot oh, of stories. Oh, yeah, they're about... not going to let you share. What? what? Really? What? Wait, what's this? 
they're not gonna they're gonna start cracking down on people that share their passwords with friends oh. and stuff. How can they tell? I don't know. That's almost impossible to do. Maybe IP address or something. Yeah, no, saying, they yeah. they can't tell with IP address no, because, because they, I travel all over the country and yeah. I watch Netflix. With yeah, my, that's true, huh? Yeah, yeah. Not that the only way they could really tell is if maybe you're sharing it with somebody and then you've got two IP addresses from two different areas. At the, at the same, same time. You're accessing it oh, from California time, yeah. and you're, and you're, you know, but you should still be able to do that because my wife watches yeah, it. Yeah, if your wife is watching it in one and place, I have yeah. The, but you have, have that, you have, the, but you have the same IP address. No, not if I'm watching it in a hotel no. somewhere. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. You're right. Kevin, you're right. Legal. You're right. You're absolutely Kevin, right. Why am I hearing this information in lieu of just recently hearing about how the stocks of Netflix have been taking a nosedive? Everything's taking a nose. Down. Everything's taking. Yeah, because they want to give their. To me, it just tells me that they want to give their stockholders a fucking tongue bath, and tell us that we can't share our uh, accounts with family members and friends anymore. Well, I'd like you. to see how. I'd like to see how they're going to crack there's, there's down. There's one service. There there's one service that I share a password with somebody with, but he only uses it occasionally, and I only use it occasionally. Uh, but how do they know that he isn't watching it at my place or watching it uh, somewhere else? You know, it, 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 it pretty much, I mean, I could give Phil my Netflix, uh, password and he wouldn't have to pay for Netflix. He could just watch yeah. it. But the thing is, I can only have two people using Netflix at the same time. It will not allow a third. So if I had Phil have a part of the account, it could, you know, could, Oh really? Oh, I, I tried yeah. that. I, I gave yeah. uh, a friend uh, the thing, and I got a uh, on Netflix, and I got a uh, email the other day that someone in another state uh, uh, logged into the Netflix account, and uh, they said if if this isn't what it's supposed to be, uh, you know, email these people. Uh, but I didn't because they said if it's correct, do nothing. Right. Was it so correct? They're, they're, they know that, but they can't. They can't prove where you are, or where your wife is, or your girlfriend, or who, you could share it with somebody. My son's so, in New York, and he shares I, our. Account. I, I have yeah. a. I have it's a VP, I have a VPN, which I very seldom use. But I decided. I, I understand. I, huh? I, try, I I have one too. Well, I don't use. Well, it I, try, I tried it. Why? Uh, there's no reason to, I guess, you know. And, and when you do use it, sometimes you can't get certain things. Well, uh, well the thing like is, Amazon. the reason I wanted it was I gave it, gave it a try to go to England, sign on as though I'm in England, yeah. so that I could maybe watch the BBC over there or whatever, which it will let you do. Yes. You know, but I tried Netflix, and I tried Netflix. Netflix and doesn't I, work. No, way. no, I right. think I got Netflix, but then I got a note saying someone signed on in England. From your account, right. was this right. you? Uh, and I didn't answer it. <laughs> yeah. Which is well, fine. Was that you the news you were talking England. about, uh, Alex? Was that the news you were talking about, or was it something else? No, no this is another piece of news altogether. This is, this is something to make you like Netflix, you know? Oh. Okay. Uh, Netflix series uh, that's set in North Carolina won't be filmed in North Carolina. The streaming service reportedly is choosing not to film in the state as a protest against North Carolina's anti-LBGTQ House Bill 2. The bill, commonly called the bathroom bill, was the focus of a firestorm that was enacted in uh, 2016. Despite the fact that North Carolina repealed a section of the law in 2017 following a year of backlash, it didn't completely overturn HB2. Uh, and one problematic piece of the replacement bill per insiders is a clause that forbids municipalities from enacting non-discrimination ordinances for any group not included in the state law, including LGBTQ people until 2020. Uh, so uh, they have decided uh, that they're going to not uh, uh, film this show in uh, North Carolina, and it's going to cost North Carolina $60 million. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah. Good, for them. good for them. So, uh, good for them. Yeah. No, that you know, makes my subscription worth it. Because yeah. I, pay, I pay $14 a month because I get the 4K. Um, but you know we can't see 4K, don't you, Alex? Yep. You, you and cannot. me can't see 4K? We cannot, you cannot see in 4K. Oh, really? Yeah. Your eyeballs are not capable. Oh. Well, better off with special K. And how I'm come, getting mine upgraded. <laughs> how come the picture looks better? 
because it's special. Better, better than better than high def. It looks cleaner. Yeah, no, it looks cleaner. Well, yeah. Maybe it's yourself wanting to believe that. No, my no. wife. My wife can't tell the difference between a regular DVD playing and a Blu-ray DVD playing. Uh, to show you how good 4K is, I mean, okay, so maybe you can't see all of 4K, but it looks better than 1080p. You know, so uh, and that is also the format that is used when you go to movie theaters because they're projecting all those films now through video. They're not projecting them through film, and they're so all you see, huh? I guess you see better than 1080p, but you don't see quite as clear in 2160. So somewhere in between, you see yeah, you see it, that the human eye sees it. There's an improvement. You know, there's some guys I know that have these uh, red dragons and red epic cameras that are I think they're 8K. And so what they do is they film in 8K, and then they mix it down to 1080p, and they get a much cleaner uh, result. 8K. You know? What the? Eight. Well, yeah. I mean, here, here, here's the thing. When, the thing. when you're when you're talking about things thing. like 4K, 6K, 8K, whatever. Uh, in fact, uh, Apple sells their, their their monitors. They sell at the Apple Store are 5K monitors. Okay, yeah. uh, but the thing is that. It, 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 and Phil will tell you this too. It's the same thing with the grain of film on film. The finer the grain, the larger you could blow something up, right? You know, if, without having it having it show its distortion. So what happens is you film at 8K, so that when you go to the lower forms, it still presents itself very clean on the screen. So you know, but it also takes up a lot of hard drive space. And that's why you need a NAS or uh, like what I have, the Drobo. No, you know my that, camera is forty-seven megapixels. That's not the so reason you, why, because you know you can get you uh, you can buy eight, you can buy twelve uh, terabyte drives now. You know. Yeah, yeah, but then you want backup, which is very important when it comes to photography. Um, you know? Well, and you just sit there and copy it onto another drive. I backed up all my network drives onto just regular drives just so I have them someday. I don't want to lose all those uh, things I put on the, the movie thing that I had or the uh, TV thing that I had. So that they won't, uh, or the porn thing. I backed up all my porn, too. Uh, porn is free on the net. Why would you keep porn? Well, because it is free. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, the small little drives, little the pa passports and so on? Yeah. Yeah. I, I bought one the other day for 99 bucks, five terabytes on that little drive, five terabytes. And I have another drive here that I bought that's an eight terabyte drive that I bought. For, I, I must have bought it on an off day for Costco because it was only 119 bucks. But if any other day, they're like 139, 149 dollars. But I mean, we're, we're getting into the area of eight terabyte drives, you know. And uh, yeah, two. and that one, that one he's got two. there, huh? That's two. That's two. Well, I have one that size. It's a little thicker, however, and it's a five. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me, I got to get myself another. That's smaller. It looks like the wallet. size of a credit card. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They getting yeah. And they got them now that are uh, flash. Uh, you know, uh, what do they call them? Uh, SS, uh, what kind of drives the do we have? Drives, uh, the flash drives, the SSD. SSD. The SSDs SSD. are getting really uh, cheap. I saw at um, on Amazon, one terabytes for $64 or $79, somewhere around in there, and a two terabyte was something like $120, $130. Yeah. That's, that, that's, that's come down a great deal. Yeah. How do you interface that with your machine? Same way you would a hard drive. Same way. Or... It's SAS connected or SATA connected. Yeah, it just has the same connector as a hard drive. It just kind of doesn't oh, take up oh, the space. Oh, I'm talking about uh, a portable one that you could use like a USB or a... Uh, uh, they, they, then unless you have USB well, 3, one, slow down, down yeah. right I, speed. I have one yeah. here that's 256, you know. So, uh, you know. But what's been happening in the news? I wasn't paying attention much to the news it, today. There was some Republican senator today that that uh, used a King. King. Yeah, uh, where's King from? Steve King. Steve Iowa. King. Oh, Iowa. Oh, oh, that Iowa. that piece of shit. Uh, I guess I'm not talking about something. Iowa. I'm talking about Steve King. Uh, uh, 
I guess he said something that was uh, derogatory or he endorsed um, a white supremacist who's running for mayor in Canada. Yeah, he well, no, he said, "What's with all these words? What, what what's wrong with being a white supremacist or being a white nationalist or whatever?" When did it become a bad word? When did it become a when bad white, word? White, yeah, white nationalist. I think the day the Nazis t- except used the term. I think that was uh, the beginning of it. Um, he's an idiot. Guys yeah, are probably not the best choice of words. And his party, yeah. except for very few people, haven't really come out. And Trump, uh, you know, when Trump was asked that the White House said he's too busy worrying about the, the shutdown. Really? <laughs> I mean, he worries about the shutdown? He well, doesn't care. Well, how do we solve this uh, shutdown? Why don't you shut Build it back wall. up? You know? Uh, he, well, Lindsey Graham says he should go ahead and declare a national emergency, and then it'll get all tied up in court, and that'll open right. the government back up. And that's why he told them, Mr. President, just cl- declare this national emergency. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it's becoming a national emergency, but it's what by what it's he's causing. Sad. So, very yeah. sad. It is sad. It's very sad that we. A lot of poor. Did you hear what uh, was it? The Coast Guard told they had suggestions for what oh. they. Garage oh, sale. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. Uber. Garage, have a garage sale. sale. Uh, babysit. Uh, grocery. Oh, grocery. Yes. Mystery oh yeah. Shopper. yeah. That yes. was a non That was a lot. That was a mystery shopper. That just. Tell that to the yeah. fucking legislators that do that I shit. I think that was a non sanctioned right. deal and it was taken down very quickly. It was taken down. Do you want to. Yeah, it, it, reminds me, it reminds me of the time when uh, Walmart was uh, paying so little. Yeah. That people were starving to death, and Walmart had a HR department that told people how to go get uh, uh, right. food stamps and right. welfare. They still do. They do. They haven't. They haven't stopped that. They haven't stopped it, huh? No, oh, they pay better. No. Though. They pay yeah. better now. Except They're paying a little that. better, but they still have people that work for them full time who did food stamps. The people who send out the food stamps aren't getting, uh, aren't working right now, and the people who are getting food stamps uh, aren't receiving them. Have you heard of the late the, the latest news that came out tonight? The New York Times story that's out. No, the one the one where uh, Mnuchin uh, got rid of the sanctions on uh, no, no. oligarch. Nope. FBI opened an investigation into whether President Trump was secretly working on behalf of Russia, right after he fired James Comey. Really? Yeah. I, I don't believe that. Well, I know you don't believe it, <laughs> Phil. Really? Yeah, Tulsi Gabbard is a national president today. Yeah, I think that's fake news. You wouldn't uh, believe it if you saw a picture of him on his hands and knees sucking Putin off for crying out loud. Democratic representative of of uh, Hawaii. Uh, the the representative of Hawaii that was on the uh, Tulsi uh, the, Gabbard. She is running for. She has announced she has thrown her hat in the ring. She is running for president in twenty twenty. This is going to be a good uh, one. Uh, this twenty twenty. Yeah. It's probably I, I probably even if Sanders does run, I may I may vote for her because optics matter. We need a female POTUS. I, I, I think uh, what about Kamala Harris. No, she's, she's too running. Corporate. Look, she's too corporate. Look, no, let, let's look. We can Sanders sit around. Over, we, can, we, we can sit Harris. around talking about all the people that we'd like to see run for president. But we have to figure out which one can actually have a shot at winning. That's I agree. You know. Um, uh, even if it's somebody we don't love particularly, can yeah, they do the job? Can they do? They have the charisma. You know, I think there are a couple of people out there that have the charisma to do it. I think Cory Booker is a pretty good, uh, pretty good shot. I think Cory Booker has some baggage. Didn't he do something or? They all uh, have voted baggage. against the bill to uh, uh, make uh, no. the cost of drugs cheaper by having them uh, imported from Canada. No, no, there was something he did years ago that uh, was uh, either criminal or uh, something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. No, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what you said, though, goes for both sides. I would, I hope Republicans come out and, and put up some candidates and, and challenge uh, Trump. They because won't. They won't. any other Republican, I would not, not mind at all becoming president. Well, uh, uh, yeah, Republic- uh, when you at this the point in time, of- at this point in time, there's not a single Republican that I would trust well, as I've been saying- in the White House because they've yeah. already they've already taken five trillion dollars of revenue out of the federal government and given it away to rich folks. You got to stop that somewhere. You yeah. got to stop all this tax giveaway to the wealthiest one percent. 
And by the way, how's our how's our deficit doing? Trickle you know? down is an illusion. It doesn't work. Yeah, they've they've all pup, they've been puppetized by Trump. Yeah, um, but I think that it's uh, I, I I just think it's it's uh, it, it's got to be somebody who's got uh, got charisma, got the got the goods. Uh, what's his name? Your governor in California, although it's probably too soon for him to run. Gavin Newsom. Gavin yeah. Newsom is going to be yeah. a st- is going to be a stealth uh, candidate someday. I mean, he's going to be Maybe like twenty twenty four. Yeah, he's good. He's good looking. He speaks well. You know, you, it's all Im- it's all image now. It's all how you look. You know, yeah. really Cortez. too bad. Cortez I think I think we've had him. I hate to say uh, this, and I sound like a sexist when I'm saying it, but I think we've had enough of the old haggard women trying to run for president. You know, uh, you I know, don't, I don't like, think Elizabeth Warren has the 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 physical goods of I think the we've looks had enough corporate Democrats or the charisma to, to win an election. Oh, you know, uh, who who was raising their hand? Uh, Me, yeah. uh, Phil. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, so Cory Booker had a groping incident. Uh, uh, when he was younger, there was some accusation of groping. Uh, Did he like beer? Uh, you mean, like, you mean to... like grab him by the pussy? That kind yeah, of pussy? kind of. It um, doesn't matter anymore. And he likes beer. Uh, yeah, but it, it was uh, over gro- groping. So uh, I said he had some baggage, and that was what it was. It doesn't uh, matter anymore, though. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. I, no, uh, it doesn't uh, not uh, anymore. Although, Trump's proven although you know, you've got you've, got you've got you've got uh, Bernie Sanders being he, accused of that. He, he was a teenager when he when no it Bernie Sanders wasn't no, accused no, of uh, that. C- Corey, Corey Booker. Booker. Bernie Sanders is accused of having um, uh, that they, activity uh, in a his lot campaign. of activity in his campaign, and he he went on television and explained it by saying. You know, this our campaign started off extremely slowly and we gained all this momentum and then we went out and we hired. We needed to hire like crazy and were some of our hiring practices not what I what I would have preferred? Yes. Right. And in spite of the fact that, Am I sorry for anything that you know, am I sorry for anything that happened that he goes, what well, we learn from that and if I do run again we will we will make the necessary adjustments. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, but the thing is, like, you talk about Cory Booker, he was a teenager at the time. I think just about everybody can forgive that, you know. Uh, well, well, we have a Supreme Court justice who did it, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, he didn't do it. It, it was pro- it wasn't, He wasn't proven. It wasn't proven. Well, also, it, it also, 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 what I was, you what I, know what? If they looked, I would agree with you, maybe, but they didn't even look. It was bipartisan. They looked. They looked. You know what come I. On. You know what I would In like. Thirty to, seconds. What I would like to see is for somebody to come up with a cutoff date for improprieties. You know, like well, back thirty years ago, you groped somebody. Ah, let's run them out yeah, of the business. You. you know. Well, you know, some of it could be looked at as character and whether or not there's yeah, crime or, there. Yeah, it, you know, it it becomes an issue of character, and that's what you would think. Would be with well, like a Supreme can, can Court I, justice. Can I uh, can I say this? Uh, although we don't hear from Renee anymore, so I probably won't get her yelling at. What me. happened? I don't yeah. know. I have no idea. She hasn't called uh, since uh, before uh, the Christmas break. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I hope she's okay. Um, I had a beef with her, but she apologized. That was, well, a, long that, that was a long time ago. That was a long yeah. time ago. But anyway, uh, I've got to say that. I'm beginning to see a, a, a pattern of uh, people, women, who obviously have a hatred about guys. Misandrists. Uh, misandrists? <laughs> that's, the opposite, that's the opposite term, the antonym word for uh, misogynist. Misandrist. Yeah. yeah. Um, because it, it does it, exist. It, yeah. It, it just seems to be to, oh, and, and he did this and he did that, you know. Look, if a person is a terrible human being and he does something to somebody else that's a terrible act, I say, find the closest tree and string them up. But, you know, you don't, you don't suddenly go after them because they're guys. You know, there are women who do this kind of shit, too. And I don't hear them going around finding these women and saying, hey, did you hear what she did to this guy? Bill Burr has a lot of rants about the same issue. Really? 
Oh, yeah. What does he say? Because I never listened to Bill Burr. Basically the same thing you're saying, and that uh, the, one of the conversations he had with uh, Joe Rogan in his most uh, recent appearance was that uh, and they both tailed on each other with this with these remarks is that uh, women have, there are some women like Hillary Clinton who have the same, uh, I will step on your, I will step on your toes, I will step on your face to get ahead, uh, killer predatory instinct that just as much as men have. I, did you do you feel though that 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 um, Hillary had that killer instinct? I don't. Feel oh, that. absolutely. Well, I, to an extent, and to an extent, you have to have. If she that, had that, if, if, she, she, if had. she did, she might have been president. Yeah, she'd be president by now. So does Trump. They they all have that characteristic. So did Obama. I mean, the, the campaigns he uh, ran against uh, Romney and and McCain. I mean, well, uh, what you you no, it's not it's not like. Can can you call one football team going up against another football team a killer instinct? I mean, you've got to have the desire to win, and you've got to be all for winning. Um, and uh, I don't think that necessarily is predatory in nature. It's just this is what you got to do in order to win. Because if you don't do it, the other person will. You know, I well, mean, the tiger's a predator, but that doesn't mean the tiger's a bad creature and it should be exterminated on right. the face of the earth right it's just a, it's a, it's a trait it's a necess necessity well, that's why you know, i don't think it lasts very long because you know i was always under the impression that it had to be a win-win for both people involved if you're doing a negotiation if one guy wins and one guy loses yeah. it's 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 not a good deal and trump it's not pretty much very took permanent. a sledgehammer to the table there on and on that principle though so it's well, they're, they're at an impasse. By, even if it's by a cunt hair's worth of margin, they're, they're not at to a, people like him. It's uh, it's they're not at an impasse. Dominate. Pelosi and Schumer. Sorry. Pelosi says, "I won't give you one dollar, uh, or you know, maybe they'll give a dollar, but they won't, they won't fund the wall." And uh, so yes, they shouldn't. It's why? a waste of money. Have, like, two years, three years ago, it's Obama wanted the same thing. Well, no, 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 no. no. Ago, you're absolutely, you're disaster. absolutely wrong. Well, why wait a minute. That, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. Phil, Phil, Phil. That notion, that lie, has been perpetrated. That all four presidents wanted to build a wall, and that's just coming out of Trump's mouth. They, it is not I true. I saw the videos. It is not true. Wait, wait, find me the videos. Uh, they're, they're they're right out there. They they do them all the time. Of no. Obama saying it, of Hillary saying, saying what, it, of saying Schumer what? saying, saying it. what, wait a minute, saying no. what, saying it. Hold on. Did they say they were for border security and for increasing border no, they security, said to build or did a they barrier. say build a barrier? No. No, yeah, they did. I they, watched they, the videos. I, that's been completely debunked. Talk. Go to Scopes. Uh, go to uh, Snopes right now. Hey, and put that, that in. And put also, that in. Sure you're watching too much Fox because I watched it the other day and they did the same fucking thing the other day and they right. ran this shit and they they never said anything about a wall or a barrier. They just kept saying they wanted security and then Fox would come back on and say, "Oh, see right there, they said it right there." And they didn't say shit. There isn't a person probably on this panel who doesn't believe in border security. Absolutely, but we don't believe we, we we don't now, believe in doing it in a stupid way. A mixture of technology, maybe fortifying wall in certain places. Well, that's what he wants, but he, and he's not looking no, for no, two thousand no. miles of wall anymore. That's and not they've what done Trump that, wants. Bill. I that's saw it, Trump and, and I saw it right after the speech. They did that. They kept saying, "See, they they want the wall," and now they don't. They showed Bo Obama in two thousand nine saying that they wanted more security, and then they cut back to O'Hannity or whoever the fuck it was, and they said, see, he wants a wall. And he oh, didn't say no, nothing about never, it. They saw never the said, same video I saw. They, ne yeah, they never said, said I've, seen, I've seen it too, Phil. Security. I've seen so it too, Phil, and they didn't say we want a wall. They said we, we want border security. I don't think anybody argues that. And they that. said they had to stop the influx of illegal aliens. Yeah, and correct. And, and, yeah, and that's been so going down since 2001, Phil. We're, We're at the lowest point. point. You guys found yeah. the lowest point of yes, migration it's, across the country. And, and by the way, it's, it's different right decades. now. One of the but reasons. One of the reasons. One of the reasons. They're, 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 the reasons, putting, together the reasons, when, when, oh, they're putting words in their wait mouth. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When when is the last time you heard Trump mention a caravan? Mm. Just yesterday. No, he has no, not mentioned a caravan since since. 
he said that the, the election was for over. The emergency with. is that uh, because of the caravans and the caravans are new. Uh, it's a new way. There isn't. Of there hasn't been. Wave. There hasn't been a caravan heading this way since the election. November. Right. November. Right. And it never he got. Said, he I, also I, says I heard he him. wants the wall to stop drugs uh, coming across the border. But drugs come across the border at ports of entry, Phil. They don't well, come across the desert. In trucks yesterday, and vendors. They I, come yesterday, in vendors. I saw uh, yeah. Trump with uh, the the border people. He had that photo op uh, uh, down at the border. Yeah. And he I would had like 514 to, pounds yeah, of Yeah, uh, it was all in drugs. packages. And do you think that that, that all seized. came across a fence? They, all, that, all that they, shit came into in trucks and fenders and, and tires. Know, and, and everybody why would they have it on the border, uh, uh, you know, right there? And because they, 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 out of a because they wanted and a photo there. op, it Phil. Was a photo op. They also yeah. took Trump down and showed him the, the tunnels that go under these walls. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it was. It, so it was, the walls are big to, waste. I wanted to reach out and, grab, and wanted, grab the bundles and say, where did you get these? They work in Israel. Uh, you know, they got a wall there. It's ninety nine nine. We don't we even know. know. We, we don't even. We don't even know. The only know reason he wants a wall is for the campaign promise for his base. That's the well, that's only good. reason. And no, it's only it's half of not this campaign. Good. That's five I billion too. dollars wasted. It's totally it's impractical. We waste that much promise. on yes. toilet seats. Uh, Bill, uh, uh, if he wanted to negotiate, he could get more money than that if he will do a mix of technology. And do it smartly. They, the Republicans and Democrats, would give him the money he needs, not to build a stupid wall. Brian, yeah, I got an update here that dovetails perfectly with what you guys are talking about. According to the BusinessInsider.com, I saw this on Facebook. GoFundMe is refunding all donations made to the Fund the Wall campaign. Really? Yeah, it just, yeah, five hours ago someone posted this. How much was in there? Probably like twenty million at least, if not more. God, wow! Yeah, it was like last I heard, it was like seventeen million, all yeah, by self self-absorbed people who thought that was more pressing than you know, feeding the homeless, taking care of our our vets with PPS uh, 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 on the can I, street, you can know, I, that kind of shit. Can I propose uh, this? Let, let me propose this, and I proposed it before, and I will propose it till the day I die, which could be any day now. Um, I envy you. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that is, you want to stop drugs from coming across the border. Let's say that's Make our them legal. Object. Make them legal. Exactly. Yep. That's exactly right. Make them legal. You will dry up that drug trade coming in from Mexico. The only problem is, yeah. Alex, too many shady motherfuckers are profiting from it being illegal. Yes, but exactly. that's a, well, that's why. But the fact yep. of the matter is, you know, I always you ever remember the movie Scarface? And they, they, and they want they want Tony Montana to kill this congressman who's trying to make drugs illegal, and uh, what I said was that is a virtual impossibility. They wouldn't kill somebody who wants to make them illegal. That only drives the price up. What you want to do is stop the guy who wants to make them legal because that would the bottom would fall out of your economy. Right. And the fact is that if tomorrow we made all these drugs legal. They they wouldn't be coming into the United States. That's how you stop them, and that's also how you control them. You know? yep. yep, absolutely. No argument here. And we don't hear Phil arguing with me, so yeah, I must, must be right. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking up a Snopes thing. I must I'm be looking right. up Drudge. <laughs> yeah. You mean Smudge? Smudge. Yeah. 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 But I mean, uh, but the thing is, we never solve. You know, we never solve our problems in a way that's logical. I, I, I read somewhere, human beings, that's impossible. That we had spent something like eight trillion dollars or something uh, interdicting drugs from South America, and I yeah, found, somebody made a lot of money on. Wait a minute, that's wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I found out that the amount money. of drugs, the amount of drugs that were coming in, was five trillion. So my question was, you want to save money? You buy the drugs, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and you save $3 trillion. That's where yeah. we're stupid, you know? That's where well, we don't think logically. It, but there, it's not a matter of that, though. Think about the, the industry that gets that eight, what did you say, $8 billion, a trillion dollars? Yeah. That's, it's, that's an industry, right? right that right. money was spent doing something. People were getting rich on it. Yeah. There's no way they want to stop that. 
Well, the, 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 it's like the, the it's like the military industrial complex. Same thing. It's an industry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. But, you know, it's like oxymorons, like military intelligence. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, all I'm saying is the best way to solve problems is to w walk headlong into them and you can solve them. But if you're going to keep making this stuff illegal, you're only driving the price up. You're only making a profit for those people who, you know, so they, they, so they lose a third of what they're sending across the border. That's th their profit and loss, you know, and uh, it's all factored in. But they're still making a bl bloody fucking fortune. And they mm. wouldn't be making a fortune if you legalized all those drugs and let them yep. grow here. Made in America. Make America great again. Let's grow all the grass here, all the cocaine here. Although I don't yeah, know if like we can we do it. We did in the early 1900s and beforehand. I don't know if we could do the cocaine here. Do we have coca plants of sufficient quality to do it here? I don't yeah, know. You put a buck in a machine, you get a we coke. Could, we could buy it. <laughs> buy yeah. it and have it sent over. Right. Yeah. I mean, it says that, that well, what I what video, I said what I said about that five trillion was that since we were going to spend eight trillion interdicting it, why don't we spend five trillion and just buy it all up from them? Yeah, and dump it, it in the ocean somewhere, do whatever we want to do with it. <laughs> because Imagine then they'll want, they'll send over five more trillion. Uh, Imagine in all drugs. the whales, how they react. <laughs> and and you guys are worried about global warming. Uh, it says that the video was edited and it was deceptively edited. Mm -hmm. Which video are you talking about? The uh, Obama one. Uh, uh, the um, I'm uh, shocked, shocked that they would deceptively edit that uh, video. Fox, uh, really? What? Fox? No, Fox, Fox, didn't, didn't, Fox didn't do it. Who it was done by? But uh, they're running it. But Oliver running. McGee, 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 a PhD and an MBA. Yeah. Deception. Yeah. He's, he's okay, Phil. Well, so you're going to take it, wait a minute, You're going to take it back now? Yeah. That too. Well, the, I, the truth I, you spoke to. I liked to. it, and I, I thought it was pretty good, and I agreed with the, it. The truth, yeah. The, the truth. minor, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, Rob, but the minor in POS. Well, right. now we, now, now we, Phil has Thumbs finally admitted. It was a be it was a better video than the original. Phil has admitted to his failings. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, uh, I looked it up, and uh, it was, they said it was altered. I'm yeah. telling you, Phil, a lot of what you hear on Fox News is not corroborated information. They're, they're great at spreading all kinds of bullshit. Well, they really are. You know, Especially uh, lately. Yeah, I, well, you don't have Roger Ailes there to keep I'll them tell you track. though. I'll tell you, though, uh, Rob, uh, I'm not taking you to task for this, but I don't think MSNBC is that much better. I mean, they skew everything their way, you know? I'm, yeah, but if you're running a video, if you're running a video like Phil Saw, yeah. Right. Yeah. And you and you know the video is mis has been doctored. You should not be running it. Now you could go on television and you could put your point of view, but you better ha see the problem is they can't find anything to back it up with, so they got to run this crap. Kevin, how well, did you then, know that it was on doctored? On top of it, they pour gasoline on top of it by yeah. commenting heavily on it. Well, Kevin, that, I've seen both sides I do mean, that. Yeah, I know, but it, 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 I was purposely watching Fox after these speeches and everything else. Because I'd watch MSNBC, okay, I'd watch them for a few minutes, and I'd say, okay, I know what I'm getting here. And then I'd go over to Fox just to find out what the train wreck was going on. And I was watching Hannity and Laura What's-Her-Face, and it was just a fucking train but do you know, wreck. Do you know what outfit is worse than than Fox? Is Newsmax. Yeah. Oh, i got to watch I them. I them. I like, how about The Blaze? The Blaze isn't on anymore in, uh, on, no. on uh, Fios stations, no. Mm -hmm. And Verizon, they, uh, they they shut them down, took them off. Huh. Actually, uh, I enjoyed The Blaze because Glenn Beck, in spite of the fact that he's an asshole and everything that comes out of his mouth is diarrhea, he, 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 he shits it so well. He's entertaining. <laughs> you know, he, that he's entertaining, yeah. Yeah, I, guess, I, mean, well, I, I, I have watched Neil Cavuto, Cavuto, Neil Cavuto, 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 Cavuto yeah, Cavuto. yeah. He, yeah. He's actually been halfway decent lately. I really, you know, that is talking amazing. shit. Yeah, you know? uh, uh, a, an economist. Yes, he is. Yeah. No, he's it's like on in the middle of the day yeah, over but he, here. Yeah, he, uh, he's uh, he's uh, there. He's on there. The, I love Fox's business channel. It mm -hmm. has so little to do with business. That I yes, can't believe Bartolomo. <laughs> the only thing that makes it a business channel is they run a ticker under it. 
<laughs> the rest you of it is. Remember uh, when Maria Bartolomo was working on the stock exchange Bartiromo, floor? Bartiromo. Yeah, and she was working on the stock exchange floor, and every one of those uh, stock stock exchange uh, brokers would brush up against her chest. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> she, it, no, in those days she was. No, she had a name that's back. When she, that's when she was on it, CNBC. That's CNBC. that's when right. that's when she had uh, the moniker mm -hmm. the Money Honey. Yeah, that's right. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I interviewed her on one occasion during that time. And she was very good. I liked her. Did you yeah. rub up against her? No, no, no. I didn't even jerk off in front of her. So, you know. <laughs> but you asked if you could. Well, I, cer I certainly would have asked if I was going to. Yes, that's if you're right, Rob. It's polite. It's only right to be polite. Yeah. Uh, by so the way, silly. Kevin, how you feeling uh, without the uh, implant uh, taking your pain away? Yeah, I'm getting by. It's been a pain in the butt lately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's their, really what's, their what's their latest pain, pain on the legs lately? What, what's their latest plan for your for your pain? Uh, probably next month, maybe early March. Well, what are they going to do then? I'm probably going to get the implant put in. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And then it's uh, six to eight weeks of just laying down. Yeah. Really? Wow. Well, I can do that sitting down. Yeah, I can Which do that. Like, I can do that. It's going to suck because I can't drive or anything. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, they don't want me to move because they want the the stitches inside to scar up and the probes have to set wow. so I don't move like last, you know, with the mm. temporary thing move. Yeah. How do you lay down for that long and not move? Well, well you know, it's not, uh, not, you, you, you get, you're a woman and you get married. <laughs> there you go. No, it's not that bad, but I mean, you, you can't be doing any lifting or, you know, twisting. I hope Amy's listening. I'm going to put this thing on me and, you know. Amy would be having a heart attack right now. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, she lifts rock. She's got a rock collection. Does, does she have a rock collection? Yeah, yeah. She uh, she goes out and collects rocks. She's got geodes. You walk into her living room, and there's tables, uh, you know, the, the kind of tables that, you know, they set up at a trade show, mm -hmm. except there's there's six or eight of them in a row, yeah. and they're covered with geodes and rocks, and no matter where you go, uh, yeah. there's a table with rocks. By the way, did I, did I already mention this? I may have mentioned this the other night. Uh, we watched uh, this movie uh, that was out a couple of years ago called Into the Woods. Has anybody seen this? No. This is a Stephen Sondheim musical in which it's a mass. This is old, it, right? Yeah. It's a, it's, well, it's, it was done in 2014. And ah. it's a mashup between Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, uh, who else? Uh, 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 Rapunzel. Uh, and it's a musical. It's a brilliant, brilliant musical. And... Uh, it stars Meryl Streep as the witch, and you got J uh, James Corden as the baker, and he's wonderful in it. Um, and uh, it uh, it just is a great little movie. It's on it's on stars, and it's a musical. And if you like Sondheim's musicals, uh, this one I think won the Tony years ago, uh, and it's a great musical. And I I think it's a film that was completely ignored. I you know, it didn't get. I don't think it got nominated for anything, and it should have. It was. It's that good, you know. Because we've been sitting around watching all these movies that we're supposed to vote on, and most of them suck. Uh, the only good <laughs> ones were the Green Room and the Melissa McCarthy picture. And did we watch anything else that we liked? No, that was about it. Uh, and this this film was actually uh, directed by the same guy uh, who. Uh, who directed uh, Mary Poppins Returns, which is one of, I think, the worst film of last year. Oh, really? Tied in my, in, tie, tied for it. my money with Bohemian Rhapsody. Which you know, was, back in 2007, Alex, I wanted to make a porno offshoot of Mary Poppins and call it Cherry Poppins. <laughs> Use your imagination. Just to see what I'm, I'm sure if we go back and look at the lexicon of the 10 million porn films made, there is one out there called Cherry Poppins. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know. Uh, I'm sure there's one called Sailor Dick Takes a Stern Approach. I'm, I'm sure there are there are films like that out there. Um, in fact, um, uh, do you remember that film with Tom Cruise, Cocktail? They made a porno version of it called Cocktail. Uh, 
<laughs> they could have been more creative. You know, there, there's 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 nothing on TV. There, there's nothing out there. Uh, I I've I just watched the... a couple of great shows. I love the Orville. The Orville? Yeah, I love the. Oh, you is like that, it? That Orville, Vernon? right? Uh, Orville and Wilbur. No, no. I watched the it, mad the marvelous Seth MacFarlane. Maisel. What? I watched the marvelous Maisel because yeah. you guys were talking about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great, it's a really good program. Yeah. Right? I, you, it took me a couple just, of week, episodes to get into it. Oh, yeah, th at least three. Yeah. Did you watch first and second season? I am I have like a couple of ep and two episodes. And also, when you get a chance, season. the Kaminsky, uh, uh, what's it called? The yeah. I started method. watching that, the Kaminsky Met method. Method is yeah. terrific. From what I understand, though, once you reach past 50 years of age, these institutions, these outfits are no longer marketing to you, which is why a lot of this shit is unwatchable. Well, Even to me. Well, well, quite, no, well, quite, wrong, quite wrong about, but quite wrong about Netflix because Netflix, for instance, the Kaminsky method, I don't think can appeal to anybody who isn't Jewish or over 70. You know, so why didn't it won an award, out? didn't it? Huh? Uh, at the oh Golden yeah, Globes yeah, won, it won, won an something? award. And my, as I say, my urologist loved it because he loved mm -hmm. the line. Alan Alda has a line in there. Nobody likes their urologist. Uh, and he said, yes. and, and then he said, and then the other line he liked was, "I got, uh, I got good news. I got bad news. Well, what's the bad news? You've got cancer. What's the good news? You got the good kind. You know. So." Uh, I could have sworn he said he was no, diddling his, no, no, his that is, nurse. No, no, that's an old joke. I, I know it's an old joke, it. but I think that's what he said. And I, I just, you know, no, it's, I, don't it's, it's, I got episode. good news, I got bad news. What's the bad news? I got cancer. What's the good news? See my secretary? I'm fucking her. That's, yeah. that's, <laughs> I, I think the funniest part said. was Danny DeVito playing the urologist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I like anybody who would provide me with health care who I can't stand would be anybody who represents an insurance company. Yeah. But uh, those people, no one would like. No one should like. But I, I really, um, um, it, it, the Kaminsky method is a good show, and uh, Maisel is great over on Amazon, and yeah. uh, I love or Orville. I love one of my other favorite shows is Gotham. It's a great yeah. show. I don't that like is, any of that superhero well, crap. Well, I've been watching stuff on YouTube lately. Uh, Russian MMA boxing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, drunk drivers getting pulled over, yeah. Yeah. and these uh, something citizens, these uh, guys that don't want to talk to cops, won't roll their windows down. Hey, and Phil, you ever watch uh, Ultimate Public Freakout compilations? They're like an hour long, and they have a compilation of everything, people flipping out at stores, getting caught for shoplifting. Uh, well, the best that, the that, best that we used to run on my... I watch uh, Road wait. Rage Drivers... No, what we, no. What we yeah, did, what that. we did on this show uh, when it was we were doing it as a TV show over at mm -hmm. uh, the studio uh, oh, is I would run other? no I, shoot the, themselves the, the Russian videos of uh, dash cams because everybody yeah. in Russia has a dash cam to, because people like like to swipe into people and they want to prove well it wasn't their fault. And so you have all these great videos of things like you know. Oh, cow. they road rage. They road rage hard. They get into it. Goddamn. Yeah. 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 I, I just got a uh, I've had a video system at the store where I could see who's walking in the front door because my office is is not in the view of the front door. Well, knowing your and, business, that's not too often. So there's not much. Yeah. To watch. yeah and uh, also to see what's going in and out of the warehouse, which is a building next to the main building. And so uh, I, people have been dumping uh, at, at, in my dumpster. So I, I put a, uh, a hard drive in it so I could record. And now I also can see it live in live time on my phone. Uh, so uh, it's now the next thing I want. I want a dash cam because, uh, you know, I turn on the phone at six in the morning and I'm watching, you know, if anybody's dumping in my parking lot. Or, Damn it. You know, now I got to find a new place. Huh? Place. You're yeah, right. You got to find a new place. <laughs> That's right. With that, we start playing the theme song. Hey, everybody. It's been fun tonight. I actually I got through it okay. I'm not really feeling all that sick, uh, yeah. and uh, so I should be able to wake up tomorrow morning and not feel like a pile of dog poop. I consider the intersection the after party anymore, which is good. Yeah, yeah, it is the after party. Continue it on with uh, yeah, Jack. Pitt's yeah, yeah. Some of you might want to go over there and talk to him. Uh, hey, yep. listen. Uh, thank you and so much, Vernon Nunn, and thank you very much for those notes you wrote me. They were very. Uh, uh, they made my life a lot easier. 
be just uh, hearing from you saying, don't worry about it, kid. I had the same thing. I'm tough. <laughs> uh, uh, Phil, thank you so much. Uh, You're welcome. Luckily, you didn't write me and say, well, I got mine cut out, so I'm glad you didn't write about that. By the way, I asked my doctor, Would, is the prostate going to go? And he said, no way. That was a definite. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to die, but no way. Is it gonna... <laughs> uh, and uh, Brian, good talking to you once again. Always good to have you here. Uh, Jeff, always nice to see you and uh, hope your cold gets better. Uh, and, I hope so, too. Yeah. Uh, thanks yeah, for being here too. during yeah. the cold. Yeah. Rob, it, always... Is it cold? In, is it snowing where you guys are? No. It east? snowed a little bit this morning. Yeah, it is, uh, this is snowing so. here. And, it's uh, chilly in Pittsburgh, but no snow. Thanks to Rob and Kevin. Always nice to see you as well. Everybody, give a big wave to the audience a goodbye, and I'll wave back at you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel. Let me kind of get rid of them here unceremoniously because uh, Jack Bishop needs uh, the uh, phones next to be able to do his little program which is uh, the uh, the uh, 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 intersection uh, and uh, we will not be here until uh, let's see here next Tuesday because on uh, Tuesday at 930 it's Damian Chaplin and the exchange uh, by the way look for us on TuneIn we not only have the live stream now but all our programs are being podcast on TuneIn as well. Uh, I'll see you on Tuesday. Same time, same station in life, 10 o'clock Eastern Time. And in the meantime, if you see her, shout at her and tell her, I love you! <laughs>